Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about this Seiko SNE331 and uh, this is a fairly simple watch from Seiko. Uh, let's take the measurements out of the way. From here to here without the crown, it's a 43 millimeters, 22 millimeters, this is a 50 millimeters, the thickness is 10.7 millimeters. Um, it comes with this package, this box right here. And it comes with this uh, beige nylon strap that I replaced with uh, the blue NATO. And it comes with this pill right here. Let's put it out the way. So how about the quality? Well, the quality, it's, um, it's not the best. I think this is the lowest quality I've seen on a Seiko. Even the SMK, uh, the automatic that I had, it seemed to have a better build quality than this one. This uh, feels a little bit more on the cheaper side. Taking account the other Seiko watches, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's you, you could come compare a little bit the Casio Duro to this one it feels in a similar way the face of the watch it's it's kind of big so uh, I think it wears bigger than other watches of this size for example the Orient Triton was wearing smaller than this one even though they were pretty much the same size this one were significantly bigger but nonetheless I think it's um, uh, I will I have the smallest wrist uh, anywhere in the watch community so uh, I think uh, if if, it, if I can wear it so you can it has a week and date complication uh, it's uh, like a regular solar quartz with uh, 100 meter resistance mineral glass and it's on this stainless steel uh, it's like a nickel black nickel finishing it's polished on the sides there's a satin finish on the top and it has this like coin edge bezel that is not you cannot turn it the minute hand aligns well with the, with the minute markers uh, even though it kind of looks like it won't do I think it's it's fair uh, it has a 12369 uh, that in my opinion I'm not completely a fan but uh, it has a military aesthetic that uh, if I think if you like field watches maybe you will like this one something to mention is that if you notice the 12 marker right here does not align with this pip right here and uh, that kind of bothers some people it definitely bothers me the only sections are loomed is the minute and hour hand and the six three and nine and not the numbers but only this triangle section right here. It has a it's it has a polished crown, uh, very comfortable to grip and use. Position, you know, this is the standard position. Second position, going down, week going up, date. Third position, adjust the time, hackable of course because it's quartz. I'm gonna show you the case back. Pretty standard. Sorry that it's uh, a little dirty because of the, the NATO and I wore it a lot so it says Japan V158 0AR0 um, A good thing about this one is that the the spring bars uh, you can you can spin like it has a fluid motion um, it, you can uh, when you put the NATO it really it's smooth because the spring bar turns so I think that's pretty nice other watches don't have that one it has perforated lugs uh, so it's a super easy to change straps or to take it off to put it on a NATO I mean I, I think it's kind of nice you know certain angles and the reflection of that um, a black nickel uh, still uh, I think it looks nice uh, something remarkable about this one is that I've used, I've used this watch a lot and I don't see any single scratches anywhere 
so I think I think this is pretty durable and of course I don't have any problems with the uh, with the crystal so um, that Harlex crystal has been doing a good job uh, on the chapter ring it doesn't really has a chapter ring it's more like a Swiss design you know uh, usually Swiss watches it's just dialed and they don't really have any chapter ring uh, like most Japanese watches do especially divers so it's just it's just smooth it has like a satin finishing inside and I think that's it uh, I'm gonna show you how it wears on my 5.9 inch wrist like I told you I don't I don't think uh, there's anybody out there that has a smaller wrist than I do all right there you go so that is my 5.9 wrist inch wrist and as you can see it it wears rather big it uh, I mean the lugs are kind of kind of sticking out a little bit uh, actually definitely sticking out from this perception and uh, the face is it's almost overpowering my wrist uh, because it looks it looks it's a 43 but also the the face the actual face from here to here it's kind of big so it wears a little bit it, actually I would think I can't wear a bigger watch than this one because uh, otherwise it will look unproportional I will show you another shot okay there you go so from this perspective it looks a little well it's the same pretty much this is how it looks the thickness and as you can see the looks are kind of sticking out uh, but just just enough to stay within the uh, proportions of my wrist I think I, th I would rather a much uh, smaller lug to lug size but I mean it, it looks pretty nice you know uh, this uh, this looks like a field watch uh, so I think it, it's, it's gonna fit well on a, you know uh, sport activities or something with a 100 meter resistance I think it's gonna do just well and being taller I think it's a reliable watch I think it's running around 10 seconds a month so not so bad not so bad but I've seen uh, other quartz watches that I have as have been uh, uh, getting better time than this piece this piece is uh, a little faster it runs faster it, it goes twice as fast as other for example the Citizen Pro Master was um, when the Citizen Pro Master was gaining 5 seconds this was gaining 10 alright guys so that's it let me know what you think about this watch uh, do you have any comments any questions suggestions let me know in the comments below and I will show you a loom shot. Alright guys, so as you can see, um, it has good loom, but um, only on those small sections. So uh, you're gonna lose certain visibility at night and it's gonna be a little hard to tell what time it is.